they now have imposed a form of birth slaves on as many states and as many women as they can. And their deal is to force women to have children, whether they want to or not, whether they it will hurt them or not physically to do so they just want to force women to have that's a and and then they they were they they are against proper education for these women on how to take care of the child how to prevent the children really and they're also against birth control they are literally imposing their birth slave notions a form of slavery they are imposing a form of slavery on our women right now in the United States. And so whenever I pose the question of how is it that they can sit there, uh, uh, question A, Bible condones slavery. Question B, why don't Christians condone slavery? Because if you ask them, they say slavery is bad. Ask any Christian, oh, slavery is bad, bad. We don't want to enslave people. But yes, they do. They do. The form of, they not only do they try to make it to where you can't have an abortion in that state you can't have education to prevent that abortion so you will understand and have knowledge because that's sinful or something you can't have birth control to prevent that 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 um that pregnancy and you cannot if they could have their way they're doing their best to get there don't say they're not and you cannot leave the state to try to acquire that abortion or take care of that medical need or whatever you need. Is that not, how is that not Christian trying to impose their form of birth slaves on the women of the United States? So you can't argue that their, their Bible doesn't preach against slavery because it clearly does. You can't argue that their prophet, their very prophet doesn't argue against slavery because he does. Slaves, obey your masters. It's actually two different chapters, two different parts of the Bible, uh, the New Testament. He says that's very specific things. Obey your masters, right? Right up to now where they're trying to impose this on the women. And oftentimes throughout history, it's not just about abortion. It's been about women as a gender, a slave gender. The Abrahamic religions, this is going to be a tough pill to swallow, folks. I know. That's why I've been working on getting up here all week. The Abrahamic religions are man-based religions that have enslaved an entire gender. And they've done it for thousands of years under the term of wife. And now, I, as I've mentioned before, I love my wife. The term wife is a dearer term to me. But when you look at the reality of the circumstances of what a wife is meant throughout history, especially in relig religious societies, then it, religious cultures, then you'll know the term wife is, is, is literally the worst kind of slave that there could possibly be. It's a it's an entire slavery of a, uh, slavery of an entire gender under the title of wife and they've been doing it for thousands of years and women are just now starting to struggle and get out from underneath that oppression in secular cultures the more religious the more conservative those cultures are any culture around the world the more likely they are to oppress women as we have got 12 different votes on the notion of do you think the role of wife in traditional Abrahamic religions resembles a form of slavery? I'm going to replace the word new slavery. YouTube moderators, I'm sorry. While modern secular forms, I'm just trying to defend myself, saying most modern people, husband and wife watching right now, most men don't really think of that in their wives as a subservient creature. But you do. But you do. It's in the terminology. It's in the phrase. It's just in the history. It's when you think about it. It's, it's, this is big. This is small. This, this is tall. This is short. This is husband. This is wife. I don't feel like I'm wrong. I mean, again, modern society is trying to get it where this is husband and this is wife. We're, the women have been struggling to get there, but, but you see that comparison. It's just naturally in our brains because of how we were all raised. We were all, it doesn't matter which religion you came from, really, which culture you came from. Women are almost always the, the subservient female. I mean, subservient to their man as a wife.
you know? And um, so it's hard to not think of that way. But going forward as a species, I feel like we'd be better off if we embraced everybody as equals, men, women, and the beautiful spectrum in between and outside of.